Hi friends, in this video we're gonna talk about how to run Keycloak behind a reverse proxy like Apache. The whole content of this video is present in a blog post and I will leave the link of this blog post in the description. If you don't know what Keycloak is, Keycloak is a identity and access management solution or something like a OAuth server where you can centrally manage the security of your multiple applications in one place. It's basically like login with Google but you do it in your own server. I've already made videos on how to set up Keycloak in Windows how to run Keycloak in production mode, configure Keycloak to use a PostgreSQL database, and how to manage users, how to set up two-factor authentication, password policy in Keycloak server. I will leave the link of this playlist and these videos and blog posts in the description. So please check out the links for those in the description. So we are running Keycloak behind Apache, right? I've already made a playlist on how to set up Apache and how to run it as a reverse proxy. So you can refer those videos if you want to set up Apache in your system. All right, let's get started with running a Keycloak server behind the Apache reverse proxy. So a reverse proxy like Apache sits in between the clients who generate the request and the Keycloak server who processes the request. Even Keycloak recommends to use a reverse proxy because it's easy to configure multiple websites with a single reverse proxy. We're going to cover these topics to know how to set up a reverse proxy for Keycloak. First, we will set up a reverse proxy mode called edge mode in Keycloak and we'll get to know that there are some request headers that need to be set by the reverse proxy and then we will configure keycloak using the keycloak.conf file to run behind the reverse proxy we will configure an apache server as a reverse proxy for keycloak server and at the end we will expose only selected keycloak paths to the clients for enhancing the security we will also show some references where you can do further reading so what is a reverse proxy mode keycloak can be set up behind a reverse proxy in three modes one is edge mode, another is pass through mode, and another is re encrypt mode. So, in the edge mode, clients will come in HTTPS to the reverse proxy, but the reverse proxy will do HTTP requests to Keycloak. That means it's the case of SSL termination where the requests are in HTTPS till the reverse proxy, but the reverse proxy and Keycloak are communicating with HTTP. So, this is the edge mode, and we are going to cover this mode in our video. Other modes are pass through mode in which the HTTPS request will be sent directly to the Keycloak and reverse proxy does not handle any HTTPS. And the other mode is re-encrypt mode where the reverse proxy will take the request in HTTPS and the reverse proxy will also call Keycloak in HTTPS. So there are two HTTPS communications in contrast to edge mode where the communication at first is in HTTPS and Apache will talk to Keycloak in HTTP. In re-encrypt mode, Apache will also talk to Keycloak in HTTPS. So for this session, we are going to cover edge mode. You know, when using a reverse proxy, the request from the client is being taken by the reverse proxy and the reverse proxy is doing the request to the Keycloak on behalf of the client. So to function correctly, Keycloak should know some information about the client request. That information can be passed through the headers. So Keycloak expects either the forwarded headers as per RFC 7239 or the non-standard X forwarded headers. That means X forwarded fur, X forwarded proto, X forwarded port, etc. We are using an Apache reverse proxy and Apache sets the X forwarded headers if you use it in the reverse proxy mode. So obviously we are configuring Keycloak to expect X forwarded headers. So that's about request headers. And then we need to configure Keycloak to run behind the reverse proxy, right? So Keycloak can be configured using the keycloak.conf file. Let's go to our Keycloak installation and try to configure the Keycloak. So I got Keycloak installed in my computer and it's installed in C Keycloak folder. So I'm in the folder and in the conf folder, I have a keycloak.conf file. So I'm going to right click and open it with VS code. You can even open it with notepad. In VS code, I've installed Apache conf extension. So that's why I'm able to see syntax highlighting and I can easily edit my conf file. All right, we are going to run our keycloak behind the reverse proxy in production mode. So for that, you need some things to be done. I've already made a video on running keycloak in production mode. You can check out that video. I will leave the link of that video in the description. But to run in production mode, you need to set your host name and certificate. I've already generated self-signed certificates using OpenSSL and kept them in the conf folder with files kc.cert.pem and kc.key.pem. These are certificate and key files and this will be given to the Keycloak and it will be used by Keycloak for encryption purposes. To demonstrate the self-signed certificate generation using OpenSSL, let's try to generate the certificate files again. I want the certificate to be present in the conf folder, right? So I'm going to the Keycloak folder conf folder and in fact let's try to delete these files these are the certificate files so again i will open a git command line here so i'm going to click on the windows button click on git bash 
if you don't have git bash install it in your windows machine and then cd into the folder i'm going to change the directly to the key cloak configuration folder now i'm in the key cloak configuration folder let's try to run the open ssl command open ssl request x509 nodes days 365 new key is rsa2048 key out file is kc.key.pem and the certificate file is minus out kc.crt.pem so if i click on this command it's going to ask me some questions And that's it. I have created a certificate files. You can just go to the folder and see that these two files are generated. So this is how using a single OpenSSL command, you can generate your certificate files. All right. To run in production mode, you need to set your host name. Either you can set your host name like this, host name equal to localhost, or if you want to listen on all host names, you can write host name strict equal to false. All right. Now let's get to the main part, which is telling Keycloak to listen from a reverse proxy. So that can be done using this proxy headers equal to x forwarded. That means it tells Keycloak that it is behind the reverse proxy and it is telling Keycloak to expect the x forwarded headers. If your reverse proxy is not Apache and it sets the forwarded headers, you can just write proxy headers equal to forwarded. And if you're running older versions of Keycloak, maybe this option might not be working. Then you can use proxy equal to edge. But since I'm running Keycloak 24, it's a new version it supports proxy headers equal to x forwarded. All right, we have configured key cloak to run behind the reverse proxy. But remember, we are running in edge mode and the reverse proxy will call key cloak over HTTP. That means key cloak should listen on HTTP, right? So by default, if you run key cloak in production mode, it will not listen in HTTP. We need to separately enable it. So here I've written HTTP enabled equal to true and the port of HTTP is 8080. So Keycloak will listen on HTTP over the port 8080. So now Keycloak is ready to be run behind the reverse proxy. We have enabled HTTP and the HTTP port. We have set the proxy mode as X forwarded. We have kept hostname strict equal to false or you can use your own hostname. And we have set the certificate files. This is what should be done in the keycloak.conf file. All right, Keycloak is ready to run behind the reverse proxy. We need to set up the reverse proxy also, right? In our example, we are using Apache reverse proxy. If you don't know how to set up Apache in Windows, I've already made video on that. I will leave the link of that in the description. But for now, we are going to configure and run Apache server. So the summary of what we are going to do is basically we are going to enable some Apache modules to run as a reverse proxy and accept HTTP as request. And in the reverse proxy configuration, we're going to tell Apache to direct the request to this Keycloak server running in HTTP localhost 8080. Let's try to implement this configuration. I have my Apache server installed in my c apache 24 folder to configure apache you need to have the httpd.conf file so i'm going to the conf folder httpd.conf let's try to open it with vs code you can even open it with notepad and here at the end i have written a line include conf extra kc reverse proxy.conf if i wanted i can write the reverse proxy configuration here in this file but this file is already too big so I'm writing configuration in another file and including it in the main httpd.conf file. So now let's try to write the reverse proxy configuration in this kc reverse proxy conf file. So it should be present in the conf extra folder. So here in the Apache 24, I got the conf folder, I got the extra folder and here I've created a file called kc reverse proxy.conf. Let's try to open it with VS code. Here, since it's running over HTTPS, we need to specify to listen on 443 port and these are the standard SSL settings. Now let's get to the interesting part, which is creating the virtual host. So we are making Apache to listen for reverse proxy request by creating a virtual host. This virtual host is listening on port 443 and it will listen for all host names. If you want, you can restrict the host names on which the request will be listened to. But for now, I will listen for all possible host names. And this is a standard server admin email setting. And I'm telling that errors and access logs would be logged to these files and I'm setting that the SSL engine is on and the SSL certificate file and certificate key files here. The same way I generated certificate files for Keycloak, I need to generate certificate files for Apache. I've generated the certificate files and kept in the conf folder. You can see that in the Apache 24 conf folder, I've got my server.cert and server.key files. You know, you can run this command in the Apache folder to generate the certificate and key files. So run this command and then you'll have the certificate and key files present in the conf folder. So I got my SSL certificate configured here. Proxy request off means 
this virtual host will be acting as a reverse proxy but not as a forward proxy this option proxy preserve host that means the hostname header would be the same as if the client directly contacted the keycloak server and the proxy headers on option will actually add the x forwarded headers which are x forwarded for x forwarded host and the x forwarded server header these headers are required for keycloak to know about the client request and then ssl proxy engine on that means ssl will be enabled in the reverse proxy requests and this is for safety like it will check whether the host name is same in the ssl certificate and the ssl certificate is expired or not so this is the safety measure to check whether ssl is good or not and we are setting two additional headers which is x forwarded proto and x forwarded port these are not set by this proxy add headers so we are adding it here manually this is also required for keycloak to know about the original request from client to apache server and then the main setting is just two lines which is proxy parse and proxy parse reverse this means send all the requests as a reverse proxy to this url that means if i write slash admin it will be sent to localhost 8080 slash admin if i say slash realms the request would be go to localhost 8080 slash realms and that's all in just very less lines of code you can make apache act as a reverse proxy for the keycloak server all right we have configured apache we have configured keycloak let's try to run apache and keycloak and see whether this configuration works first let's try to run the keycloak server so i'm in the c keycloak folder i'm going to open a command prompt here and here i'm going to say bin kc.bat space start if you are running it for the first time you can write kc.bat space build so that a server image will be built for running in production mode all right we have built the keycloak server now let's try to run the keycloak server so i'm going to write bin kc.bat space start now the keycloak server is running you know keycloak server would be running on 8443 port and 8080 port let's try to check whether keycloak is running so i have opened http localhost 8080 and keycloak is running here now let's try to start the apache server I have already configured my Apache server to be run as a Windows service. So I'm going to open the services app and search for Apache 2.4 and then right click start the service. If you don't know how to run Apache as a Windows background service, I have already made a video on that and you can check out that video link in the description. All right, our Apache server is running. So if it's running correctly, if you go to https localhost, you should be able to see the keycloak application. So if I go to https localhost, I'm able to see keycloak. Let me log into the keycloak and I'm also able to see the keycloak admin portal through Apache which is running as a reverse proxy. So we have successfully set up Apache and keycloak and we have run keycloak behind the Apache reverse proxy. You know for reducing the attack surface or reducing the vulnerability you can limit only selected parts of the keycloak. That means you don't need to expose the admin console to the clients. Maybe you just want to see keycloak admin panel only in the local host or else you want to see it behind the reverse proxy. You want to block the admin panel from the reverse proxy. That can be done by exposing only selected parts in the reverse proxy instead of exposing all the parts of the keycloak. Here is the configuration which you can use to limit the parts. We are exposing the JS path, realms path, resources path, robots.txt path. Only the request would be proxied for these paths and if there is a path like slash admin, it will not be exposed because it's not mentioned here. This way, the clients can't access the admin console in the first place. So this is a good security practice as recommended in the Keycloak documentation. So let's try to implement this. All right, in our current configuration, instead of listening on default, you can write localhost. So this listens only on localhost and it listens for a server name called localhost. So now, all the parts of Keycloak would be listened only for localhost. That means if you call Keycloak via IP address, you can't access it. So what we'll do is we'll just copy this whole virtual host and then paste it below. And then here I'm going to write default or else you can specify your host name, which is like IP address or whatever. And server name, this is the host name which it would be listening. So I'm listening for all host names. So I'm going to write catch all. You can write IP address or domain name if you want here. And now, Instead of this line, I'm going to replace with all the required paths. So I only expose the JS path, realms path, resources path and the robots.txt file. For clients coming from outside which are not accessing Keycloak through localhost, only these paths are accessible. And if you're accessing Keycloak via reverse proxy on localhost, you can access all the paths. That means you can access even the admin panel over the localhost on the reverse proxy. 
you know in your use case you can expose all the paths over the internal IP address and you can expose only limited paths over the domain name or the external IP address or the public IP address. So that's it guys this is how you can easily set up key cloak behind a reverse proxy like Apache. You can see I have created a blog post on how to use Apache as a reverse proxy for key cloak. I have given you the nodes, the explanations, the images, the configurations, the commands so that you can configure and set up the Apache and key cloak in your own system. These are the references which you can go through for further reading. I have also given the links to these references in the blog post. So please be sure to check out the link of this blog post in the description of this video. Please ask questions or post your valuable feedback in the comment section. Hope you like this video guys. Thank you for watching. Peace.